God, it's Brady. Going deep this time for Miller. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. They were trying to get the connection with the former Buckeye, Braxton Miller. And now it's second down. They decide to air it out a little bit on that play, take a shot downfield, but the coverage was really nice. Able to get a hand in and tip it away. He's going to let it go again. That's caught inside the 20. Touchdown, Chicago. Sterling Shepard, 64 yards. And his guys are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Good pass, clean catch, and a house call there on the fly route. And not that much room to operate. So that tells you about his acceleration. We always talk about being able to go from zero to 60 real fast. Took him less time than that to get to top speed and complete that play. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. This is taken at the three. <laughs> And his guys are going to start their drive right at the 20-yard line. The New York set to take the field. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them, they feel like they're in a groove right now. Now a clash of bodies here, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Casey Hayward. And the possession is theirs at their own 43-yard line. This is such a good read defensively. They know that this offense is going to try to get the ball to their playmaker in space. So what do they do? They crowd him and send bodies at it. And this one winds up being intercepted. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. I wouldn't be shocked at all right now because a look of surprise on the big fellow's face because he had the route that he wanted, running the corner, and usually he's able to use his body and catch the football. But a really nice play by the defenders, able to knock it away. Now they go straight into the play. Yeah, able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Give him nine on the play, and that'll bring up a third and one. Still in search of the first down after that last completion. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like they were coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. On the right side, this is Miller. Call it a one-yard gain of the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up. Keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. Tie game, fourth quarter, and they're going for this thing on fourth down. They come out here in the eye. Brady's going to sneak him. Give him two yards on that play, and they're able to convert here on fourth and inches. And this is a spot where you have your offense stay out there to get those few inches. It's too long for a field goal. It's not worth punting. So this is the right decision as far as I'm concerned. And they wind up picking up the first down. Play clock winding down. Now this time, Brady will throw. And Blake has it over the middle. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Now Brady throwing on second down. Complete to the right side. It's Eifert. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. They'll need to get the play off quickly. Throwing on first down is Brady. Completion left side to Miller. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. And a nice pitch and catch to pick up the reception against man coverage. Both of them read how much yardage they needed, figured what they had to do, and were able to beat the man coverage for the completion. Brady now on first down. And they set up the screen. That's complete. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. A nice little screen. They get six on first down. 
time for a break. We'll come back and see how it all shakes out after this. So it's our visitors with a football as we get you reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a score to break this time. A second down carry for Price. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. Great play there off the end. Question, Charles. In a 4-3, you hear about the D tackles a lot. What's the role of the ends? What they want to do is control the edges of the defense. And you always hear about an offense talking about setting the edge in the running game. Well, the defense wants to do exactly the same thing. And the defensive end, often against an offensive tackle, sometimes a tight end, they can't let themselves get a hook and let a running back get outside. Because if they do that, that hurts the integrity of the defense overall. My man, the encyclopedia. they take a timeout defensively. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. A long drive. The defense just cannot seem to catch a break and get off the field. This is Parsons. And now the Giants, they get the officials' attention and take another timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. to the goal line, but not quite in. Now, hang on here. Timeout called. Timeout called by the defense. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. They're knocking on the door as they come to the line here on third and goal from the one. On third and goal, And this will result in him losing yardage. Back to the three. He lost two, and it brings up four. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to take the lead here in the final minute. Winding down, Rex Ryan's going to take a timeout. And we're back. The offense had a chance to talk things over. We'll see what they come up with here on this next play. And Hauschka's kick is good. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. So the drive here ends with a field goal, and that does give them the lead, but this one is still a long ways from over. And you love to be able to look up at the scoreboard and see that you're out in front, but then you take one look across the field and see that offense is raring to come back out, and you think, I don't know, the field goals are going to be enough to get us home. And we get a glance at this defense again. They're just looking for one final stop here, put a capper on this affair. Get this game over with. That's all that the message. About. It's that 20. simple. Finish this thing off, and let's get to the locker room and celebrate. Celebration. That's what they're hoping to do soon, but still a little work to do. They're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. They're going to hurry back to the line now. And they are able to spike it. Cutting it close, but two seconds left on the clock. throw deep downfield and that is going to be incomplete boy they got the tip they were looking for but couldn't secure it and this one's over well going into the final play of this game don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos follow me on social media and once again thanks for watching